Alright guys, it's Alicia Pate back with Pate Ranch and we're going to continue on with our next video. And this is going to be installing the hardware. We've, we've already done a video on uncrating. And so now we're going to start looking at the hardware and how to put this thing together. So this is a water-cooled system. And this is our chiller that we took out of the box earlier. And so what I've done is I've installed distilled water, about one and a half gallon. There's a cap at the top. To put the water in i used a funnel that way it's not a mess i found with many of these get a funnel it's easier you're going to have water here and if we look at the back of this you've got two two uh connections here an inlet and an outlet and so it came with these threaded uh connectors so just go ahead and install those and then make sure that the drain is plugged it was and then right now i'm up at about one and a half or about halfway here which is how i like to run there is a power cable, so we'll install that. <laughs> okay, and we'll get that all corded up and connected. Okay, guys, here we are. We have our plate. Uh, setting on our table, we're going to connect. The next things we're going to do, we're going to connect our tower, and then we're going to connect our source up to this this plate here. So for the tower, you want to put it over on the right side. It looks like you can take this plate off and flip this around if you want it on the left side. But the way it's it's uh, connected right now, it's it's connected for the left side or for the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've got these four larger screws that came in. A paper a bag that said tower so we're just going to screw those down for me this is how i like to to do my gabo installs i typically do the tower and then i'll lift the source up some people may do it the connection of these two and then lift the whole source and tower i guess it's personal preference All right, for this next step, we're gonna take the screws that came in the bag that are labeled position plate, which is this right here. And so I'm gonna get those actually ready. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna lift this up and then I'm gonna to attempt to thread these. This, this plate has um, a groove so that I can move this in and out, but it's gonna be pretty, uh, I'm going to have to marry these up with these holes here. So this can be a little bit tricky. I, I'd probably suggest getting a second person here to help you hold it while you're trying to do this. Once you get one or two connected, then you can kind of see. I like to kind of have the, the head a little bit over in this position over the middle of this grid system. And so these guide holes should help me with that. So being that case, then I'm probably going to go to more uh, on the back side, middle to the back. Because if I position this in the front, then my head is going to be backwards on this, towards the back on this plate. Whereas I'd like it to be a little bit more up centered on this grid. So in order to do this, though, I'm going to have to go under the table and get it from the back side. So we're going to do that. You want to keep your your uh, table off the wall enough that the length of these sources can come back and not hit the wall. You can see some of these others here, how far back off this table. The end of this table, I'm easily coming out 10 inches. Okay, so this thing is heavy. It is not light, and we do, do not want to drop it. So I'm going to get it up here, and then I'm going to attempt to find at least one screw and set one of them. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go about right there. 
because I'm going to try to at least get one. That didn't feel like the right screw. Laser path. Too many lasers over here. Just want to get one of these securely threaded so that you don't have to hold on to this. This is, again, this is probably the worst part of the install. So it might not be pretty here for a minute. Just trying to get one that I can anchor on. I think I got one. You can see what I mean. It's a little tricky. But Okay, I got one. I'm going to get another one. And again, we're going to do a square up test later to make sure we got everything squared up. I'm going to get these two set and then I'm going to come to the front and do the last two. I want to make sure that I have it in the right spot. Okay, we're good from a stability so it doesn't fall off. Alright. Alright. Get a little zoomed in a little more. I'm, I'm happy right now with the position of where I have this. I was telling you I like it to be kind of in the middle of this bed. So we're, we're about there. Um, I'm going to leave it there for now. But that's just something to think about whenever you're installing this because it's not the easiest thing to get back up in here. Okay. You can push this all the way back against this plate and hopefully it'll be square. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these in now. Again, once you do a couple of these, it's really not that bad. You just don't want to drop it. All right, so... It's as simple as that, putting this thing on here, as long as you get the right side on there first. There was one connection that I know I need to go back there and connect, which was this green one to the tower. So I got to go back over there and connect that. But basically, there were three connections on the back side, two for the laser head and then one for the tower. And then as far as that goes, we are connected with this. And the rest, besides connecting the... Uh, the water chiller up to this guy, which I'm going to do next. Again, there's no in and out. There's just two lines, so just connect them. I'm going to 
turn this baby on. So that's the install part. And uh, one more thing before we do. You have your power cable. And then you have this. This is a foot press. This allows you to, uh, instead of hitting your mouse, you can hit this button and it'll start again. And then we also have this. This is our up and down. It's an automatic up and down for the riser here. So we're going to install those on the back of the, the, the PC looking unit. So that's the hardware install. So I hope it was uh, pretty understandable. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to HowTN and one of us will give you a hand.